so I, I, I just spoke because somebody asked me why I've been quiet. I don't, I don't do politics anymore. So I'm quiet because who are we going to do politics for? The opposition is not serious. So let's continue managing the UPND. The devil you know is better than the devil that you don't know. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So many of you from Zambia, you have been writing me, my WhatsApp is full, my WhatsApp is burning. See one, you are not seeing what is happening in Zambia. See one, see what you put us into. See one, see the person you made us to vote. See one, see this, see one, see that. I'm not quiet because uh, I'm not seeing what is happening. I'm seeing everything that is happening, including those that you have not seen. Including those when I, if I can come here and open my mouth and say it, I mean, school will dismiss. But I cannot. Why? One thing, the number one reason why I'm quiet is because opposition in Zambia, they are not serious. They are not serious. They are jokers. They are, they are time wasters. So I, I discovered to say, look, what if... I I come out and start fighting for these guys. How serious are they to take over power? You don't want to take over power from Aka in the HLM. And you are in your bed posting pictures. This is the same politics that HH was doing before I came in to help him. This is the, the type of politics he was doing. Politics of, of staying on the bed and typing. Typing nonsense and writing nonsense. If you want to, if you want to unseat a sitting government, if you want to take over power, power is not easy. It's just now that I'm looking at people that have made power look like it's very, very easy. Anyone want to be a president in Zambia? Every Jim and Jack, every fool who just woke up and want to be a president. It's not easy. It needs serious commitment. If I come now and say, start fighting a church, start destroying a church, start pointing at or exposing him, who am I going to point to you and say, this is the alternative? Because I don't want to be among those fools that always say, first prophet, first prophet. Everyone is a first prophet. Show us the real prophet. You can't show us the real prophet. No, I want when I start, when I move in, this is the person, this is an alternative. As we speak today, they are not serious. Who are we going to use to replace a church? Is it Edgar Lungu? Edgar Lungu is still on his bed. He's not ready. He's not ready to fight. To destroy a church, to, to, to bring down the government of a church will not take more than two months. It will crack and start falling. But who is going to replace a church? That is the question. The person that is going to replace a church, is it the Galung? It's not serious. He's still on his bed. He doesn't want to do politics. Or maybe he doesn't understand that. It, I, I think this is the first time that he's going to really do politics. Politics, many things must happen. I see... Uh, Oka okay, wanted to have a rally and the police say the rally will not go on. As a politician that really know what you want, you just sit down and say, uh -huh, because the police say, oh, uh, there will not be rally, so there will be no rally. It means you, have, you will not, you will be, you, you are not serious. Do you know the reason why PF was regarded as a brutal regime? It's because 
UPND was confrontational. They were able to go where the police said, don't go. And when they go, the police will pounce on them. And it will be on record that police is pouncing on innocent people. That is how politics is done. Police just tell you, don't do rally. Eh, we are not going to do because it, then you are not serious. You are not going anywhere. Just sit. To me, I prefer to help a church to rule Zambia for more than 50 years. For more than 100 years. As much as he wants. He can actually finish ruling and hand over the power to his son than for me to support an opposition that is not serious. You don't want to go and fight. You want to sit on your bed and you want people to support you. At this point in time, if Eti Galungu wanted to be the president, he was supposed to be moving from one chief to another chief. One community to another community. Don't be afraid of the police. Police brutality, arrest, tear gas is part of politics. How many times was Sapa tear gas? Did he die? No. You must be arrested. You must provoke the police. You must confront the police. I don't want to talk politics. But look at this. It's like most of the time, the people, this is exactly what a church was doing when he was in opposition. He was too comfortable. People around him were, hey, you win an election. Hey, you have already won. Ah, things are not okay in Zambia. I said, no. No. Many of you heard, even when I came live, I said, leave your bed. Go and do politics. The more they arrest you, the more you win sympathy. The more they beat you, the more you win sympathy. How can you know that the police is brutal when you are not, uh, conf when you are not confront confrontational? You want to rule a country and you are on your bed. You think that power will be brought to your bed. No. Power is not given. Power is taken. If you really want to, if as it is now, if you want to be a president, you must rise up and become serious. You are so slow. That's why I, I, I will never take part of this. Because we are so slow. You don't know where you are going. You are so relaxed. That's not how politics is done. In politics, you must confront the law. You must. If Sata was alive, and what happened at KCM happened, and if I bring the file of what happened at KCM, <laughs> Zambia will, will scatter. I don't want to touch that. Because I don't want to fight HH when the opposition is useless. I mean, it's better to remain in frying pan than to jump from frying pan to fire. You, you, yours is just to take picture and post on social media. Yours is just to take picture and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and write the Lord is good. Those, those are nonsense. Social media is for us. Leave social media for us. Go, in, go outside and do politics. If Seta was alive today and what happened at KCM happened, Sata would have gone to the Ministry of Mind to cause chaos, to make trouble, to, to pull documents out. And in the process of doing that, there will be confrontation with the police. The news will be all over. That alone will give you more than 500,000 votes in a day. But look at the type of uh, opposition leaders that you, that you have there in Zambia. You're, they're on the bed. <laughs> ah, hey, milli milli is uh, 500,000. I've told you before, people do not lose election because they didn't do well. Milli mil can still be at 2 million and their church will go ahead and win and win election. It's not how it, things... People don't lose election because things are not okay or because they are not ruling well. People lose election because there are forces. And as we speak to the opposition, don't have those forces. They are afraid. They are cowards. They are, they, they are players. 
who, 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 I mean, who would want to go and do politics? There is no politics taking place. That's why I'm quiet. That's why I'm quiet. That's why you don't see me talk. I prefer to support a church than to support somebody who is not serious. I, I prefer for HA to rule Zambia for more than 300 years than to support somebody who is not serious. You must be serious. You must wake up and do politics. When you wake up to do politics, it's easy for you to win an election. Especially with this government of UPND, anyone can win an election. The way it is, anyone. But you must be serious. You are not serious. That's why you see me, I'm quiet. That's why you see me, I don't talk. Have you seen me doing my night broadcast? I can crash the ZNBC news. I, 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 can, I can put the country on a total standstill in one broadcast at night. But I don't do it. Because I don't want to support people who are not serious. People who are, who are joking. They are joking. I mean, they are joking. They want to win election from their bedrooms. They want to win election from their from their uh, 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 from their kitchen that i don't support things like that if you are serious with politics then we support you many of us i mean 90 percent of us have been disappointed by the upn when you hear the catholics when you when you look at what happened between the catholic and the UPND. You will know that many people are disappointed. But to tell you the truth, even in this disappointment, it's better to allow a church to continue than to support people who are not serious. Until Eddie Galung wake up and become serious, Fred member wake up and become serious, then we are not going to do anything. We lose nothing. I mean, where we are seated, if we don't fight the government, we lose nothing. If we fight the government, we lose nothing. To me, I'm not there. I'm not somebody you can say, arrest, arrest. I mean, <laughs> he spoke. I don't, I, I'm not, it, it, it doesn't affect me in any way. It doesn't. It doesn't. I lose nothing. Even for HA to rule for one million years, I, lo I lose nothing. It is you. It is you. So that's why I'm quiet. Many of you think that UPND gave me uh, uh, one million dollar. Some said UPND gave C1 $300,000. I didn't receive 300000 from UPN. I'm quiet because the people that are supposed to be in front, the people that we are supposed to present to, to, the, to the public, are not serious themselves. They are not willing to suffer. They are not willing to confront the system. I mean, uh, police wake up tomorrow and tell you, no, you are not going to conduct the rally. For how long is this going to happen? You cannot defy. I mean, gather. Let them come and tear you. Let them come and arrest you. Once that happens, it will be on record that this regime is a brutal regime. If you are not gathering and provoking them, how are they going to be called the brutal regime? That's why I love Sata. In all politicians I've known in Zambia, I've worked with in Zambia, Sata is, is, a, is a man. If it was him, if it was him, what happened at KCM by now? The country was going to be on fire. The, not even that. There are so many things that I, I, I don't want to talk about here because who are we fighting for? There are so many things, un uncountable things. If it was Sata, eh? I mean, in, in a whole country, foreigners came, flew into the country with a private jet. Switch off the whole light and the cameras at the airport. Foreigners. Switch off the whole light at the airport. Foreigners. They came with guns. And they came with gold. They came with dollars. By now, there is no single opposition leader that is able to go and challenge the police, the court, the deck. Bring 
telling them to say, who are the people behind this? All of you are quiet. You are, don't allow me to insult you people. I don't want to insult these opposition leaders. I don't want to insult you. You are quiet. That case is sleeping under. That case is going under. That case is dying. You can't, you can't even go if, to even one person as a leader, opposition leader, go to the deck and confront the case. The Egyptian is saying, I brought in seven million dollars. How much has they declared? And everybody is quiet. Who is the person that switched off the, the light? Because of one plan. Because of one criminal individual. The entire operation of the airport stopped. Do you know how, how dangerous that it is to a nation? A whole nation. Criminals came and switched off the light and the cameras at the airport. And that case has gone under. And the opposition is quiet. You are useless people. Don't allow me to, to insult you. If you are not ready to fight, you must sit your you must you must get out. You must you must not disturb anybody. Let UPND proceed. Let us support UPND. If you are not ready to fight, if you don't want to do politics, you must go to hell. You must not disturb anybody. You must go to hell. There are many things that are going on that if I can come, if I can just do one broadcast at night, one like this, everywhere will shake. But the opposition, I don't know, I don't know what is, I don't know what is wrong with them. Who are we fighting? Who are we going to fight for? Who are we going to fight for? Cowards. You are running away from the police. How many times was HH arrested before he became president? How many times was Sata arrested before he became president? Who told you that taking power is very easy? Taking power is not easy. You must be confrontational. You must. Anyway, let me leave it here. So I, I, I just spoke because somebody asked me why I've been quiet. I don't, I don't do politics anymore. So I'm quiet because who are we going to do politics for? The opposition is not serious. So let's continue managing the UPND. The devil you know is better than the devil that you don't know. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.